friends welcome to my workplace at Ranakha West Bengal India this is a mature senile cataract the cataract mentioned let us observe management of this case this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 mm keratome and now side ports are made this is a side port on the left side and this is another side port on the right side the side ports are about two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision now an air bubble has been injected beneath this air bubble here goes trap and blue dye this is little bit of adrenaline and now the dye is nicely washed out and we can see that the capsule has stained very nicely and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this viscoelastic substance now I take a 26 gauge band needle, go through the side port, incise the capsule, and here we see that there is nothing coming out, no David fluid coming out. So this is not an intumescent cataract. This is a non-intumescent cataract. So I am doing capsulorexis at on go. But however, there is some convexity in such cases and we have to be careful uh, about how to control how to guide the capsule attack and now hydro dissection is done little amount of fluid is injected and then the nucleus is mobilized and we see that the nucleus rotates very nicely. Viscoelastic substance is injected again and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3 and the tip first goes with its bevel down towards the nuclear mass since the cataract is quite hard the exposure of the teeth is little more than what is used in soft cataracts now here is what I call submarine job teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus moves through the substance of the nucleus th towards the opposite equator and here it is it is divided into two halves now each hemineucleus is subdivided into two parts this is the other hemineucleus is divided into two large units now each element is emulsified with ultrasonic energy ultrasonic energy used in this case is 70 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury yes one heminucleus has been removed this is a fragment of the other heminucleus these large fragments are emulsified starting from its apex the central pointed part is the apex and now we have to be very careful while emulsifying this last fragment I currently remove the chopper so that there is no leakage of fluid from the side port and the chamber remains very stable 
we can also use an instrument called posterior capsular protector during emulsification of the multinuclear fragment or we can come back to FECO on mode where the vacuum is only 50 millimetre for emulsification of this last phase now after nucleus management cortic cleanup is done nicely by by manual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration of thin slender 23g simco cannula and now this is what i call hydro polish is polished by irrigating jet of fluid some fibers some lens fibers are still there under the anterior capsular rim and uh, removed uh, this is hydro implantation the anterior chamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and an intraocular lens is placed in capsular bag this is a hydrophilic monofocal intraocular lens and the lens has gone into the capsular bag now the side ports are to be closed corneal stroma on either side wounds are added and the ports close and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is nicely irrigated with BSS and the antechamber is formed in this way this is a bit of moxifloxacin and on drop of HPMC is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and create surgical competence.